Right, hello everybody. I'm having another look at a White Dwarf magazine. Now, I have given up trying to find my physical copy of The Dragon Masters by Jack Vance, so you will find there'll be a little picture of the book cover um, to sort of replace the fact of my inability to put things back in their collection. I went to have a look at... I've got a, a big storage box that I try to keep all my authors in a uh, in a specific uh, in a specific box so I went to the box that Jack Vance's novels are all sitting in and he's got quite a few and sadly enough the Dragon Masters is not there so I'm now currently <laughs> still trying to search I'm not going to give up I will find that book eventually but anyway what am I talking about look White Dwarf this is the earliest physical copy of a White Dwarf I have uh, and this is from uh, April, May 1978, and this is issue number six. And the reason why this has kept me, uh, has remained, I guess, a, 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 uh, an issue that I go back to is the fact that it had an article in there for A Place in the Wilderness, it was called. And uh, this is, as it says here, this is based on Jack Vance's excellent Hugo winning a novel the dragon masters but you can incorporate it into into any other into any other world so there were essentially uh, the basis of this book was that the story describes a human society uh, that is i guess pre-industrial so medieval maybe late maybe 16th 17th century something like that but anyway it they have these, well, dinosaur, lizard creatures that they use in their conquests against other humans on their world. And what you essentially find out is that these dragons, these, um, these lizard people, are the debased offspring or descendants of the original lizards that came to their to their world and uh, look the story is really really interesting because what happens later on in the book is that these intelligent ones reappear in a starship and they've got humans that they've modified to do all their combat and interaction with and it's a really look honestly it is an interesting book uh, I believe it won a um, it won a Hugo Award for best short story in 1963. Yes, so uh, my uh, copy I think is I think it's a 1970s um, book. It's not a very long one. Um, I can't remember how many pages. I might put that into the details within this video. But look again, here we go where. So many people in the early days of role-playing have drawn on the works of, dare I say, the masters of science fiction and fantasy and trying to bring it to life for another generation of people. Because once again, 1963, when this was first done, this issue here is 1978. So it's 20... 63 what's that 15 it's 15 years after so you know it's it's a nice homage to the particularly jack vance's writing uh you know he even appears in i think tunnels and trolls uh there's uh, uh shadow shadow jacks is that jack vance i think it is if not, well, as usual, you know, John never researches anything that he puts forward. But, yeah. Anyway, have a look at it. If you can see, if you can find the article. It's certainly uh, an interesting look at the past and the early days of, uh, of Dungeons and & Dragons. And that was from issue number six of The White Dwarf in the April-May edition in 1978 when I was a younger person 
Oh dear, if only I was still a younger person, my back wouldn't be killing me. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for uh, for watching this little uh, this little video on how IPs, our past masters, impact still on the works that most people produce today. So till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.